everybody, welcome back to Soft Wash Evolution. In this video, we're talking about buffer tanks today. I'm gonna to show you exactly why you need one for your pressure washing and soft washing business. So I'm standing on the tailgate of the truck now showing you the skid. There is gonna be a little bit of road noise. Uh, the road right there is very, very busy. So I've got the interface and the mic, the interference on the mic turned up, but you're probably still gonna hear some cars, so I apologize. The buffer tank is a buffer in between the incoming water source and your machine. Your machine would be pressure washers, whatever size one you've got, and soft wash pump or both. I have both, some people go with just one, but you need something in between. So the pressure washers from the big box stores are direct drive. They're about three, maybe four gallons a minute. You hook a garden hose directly into them. They shove water in there. It's mostly air. They cause cavitation, but those small machines can, can do that. These big ones cannot. They are gear drive or they're belt drive. These pumps eat five somewhere. This one's five and a half. Some of them do eight. Some of them do 10. A normal residential water supply is not going to feed these pumps. They're going to cavitate and cause all kinds of damage. They need a lot more water than what any regular hose bib on a house could provide. So I have a hose reel over there. If you've seen the tour um, video of this truck, um, it's right about here on the outside of the truck. It goes through that faded red line and there's a valve, a float valve in there, runs through a little strainer first and the water dumps into that tank. When I'm ready to use it, this blue line right here goes to the pressure washer. This one here, my finger is, goes to the blend manifold and then on to the pump. The other faded red line here is my return line off of my external unloader. There is a small little uh, quarter inch line right about there that rinses my chemical injector out. So the buffer tank is where the water from the incoming source, the house, it goes in, it runs through a filter and it settles in there and I draw off of that. Those hoses you see, the big one inch ones, go all the way to the bottom and there's a filter on the end and it pulls from there. These pumps pull from a static source. They don't need head pressure pushing water into them because that would introduce air and they would cavitate. You don't want air, you want a smooth flow of water. They're strong enough to pull from a static source. That's how they're designed, so that's why you need them. Um, I thought I had to answer it because I had someone say, I don't know if it was on YouTube or somewhere, I saw, you know, somebody said, you've only got it. It wasn't to me, it was just a general question. Someone had a 100 gallon buffer tank like this and they said, um, how many houses can you wash with 100 gallons of water before you've got to go home and fill it back up? Well, that's not the point of a buffer tank. It's not a dumb question. Some people just don't know. So the tank is never full. You arrive with about 15, 20 gallons of water, whatever's in it. You hook up the source, it starts pumping in. You start washing, whether you're using your soft wash pump, your pressure washer, or both. You do the job. You use most of the water. When I'm done, I actually come down here and hit my um, open valve and I dump out my water, whatever's left. There's usually only, I drive with about 10 to 15 gallons of water in that tank. It's never full. Uh, it fills up on the job. It's a buffer in between the incoming water source and the machines. That's all a buffer tank is. So if you've got one of these commercial size machines, there needs to be a buffer tank in between. So that's it. I thought I'd just answer that buffer tank question. Um, I've seen a lot of bad advice online. People are saying you got to have, you know, three, 400 gallons of water in your truck and you got to carry it with you everywhere. Not necessarily, unless you're working way out in rural country where everybody's got a really bad well and you're, that's in your business model to carry your own water, then go ahead. But I wouldn't put it in the back of a truck. I mean, this is a three quarter ton uh, heavy duty Chevy 2500. They're made for 1,500 pounds in the bed. 100 gallons of water weighs over 800 pounds alone. So water's eight pounds per gallon. I'm not carrying any, anything I don't have to. That's all a waste. So anyway, leave any more questions you want answered. I'll do another video. Thanks.